Rob, we are expecting Representative Collins. We are. Okay. He said he would be here. I'll watch for his name. You guys hear me okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Cool. My, my laptop crashed, and so I'm on a temporary, and I don't know what's hooked up and what's not. <laughs> and, Rob, we'll keep – I don't think I mentioned this last time. And let's keep with uh, anybody who wants to speak one way or another that they put their name and who they're representing in chat. And that okay. way we've got it okay. for the record, and and that will show you an order to go by also. Okay. <laughs> And it helps me for the minutes as well. Yeah. Thank you. Could this be? Um, oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. Representative Collins, good morning. Good morning. Appreciate y'all having me. Yes, sir. Thank you for being here. Sure. Looks like we got everyone except Mr. Gruber and Mr. Steinbach. Right. Let me to go ahead. I'll go ahead and call the meeting uh, to order. Uh, welcome everybody to the um, Arkansas Freedom of Information Act Task Force, uh, January twentieth. Um, first on the uh, agenda is approval of the January sixth um, minutes. I hope everybody had an opportunity to uh, to look over them. Anybody have a motion on the minutes? So moved they be approved. A second? I'll second it. All right. We have a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Any opposed? The ayes have it. Um, minutes for January 6th are approved. Um, our, and, we do, and we do have Will Gruber on also. I'm going to. I keep okay. Okay. He's on the phone. Okay. He's on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess he'll unmute if uh, he needs to speak. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, our uh, item on the agenda today is a House Bill 1099 by Representative Collins. Um, it's an amendment to the FOI that, that specifies the time for which one can seek an opinion from the Attorney General on whether a decision of a public records custodian regarding the release of pub certain public records is consistent with the law. Um, and uh, Representative Collins uh, is here today. And um, Representative Collins, could you explain your, your amendment? Sure. Happy to. First, can you hear me okay? Everything good with the sound? Okay, good. Yes, sir. Um, so this was brought to me by, the, the issue was brought to me by a constituent who was seeking an attorney general's opinion 
Um, he was actually the, the subject of, of the records as well as the requester. And he was too late. And, uh, you know, and, and that was on him. It, it really wasn't a flaw necessarily with the law, but it raised to my attention the fact that we say in this section indicating when you can seat the attorney general's opinion that it has to be done immediately. And immediately is, uh, you know, a kind of a problematic term. It's kind of a vague term. It, uh, it one person's immediately could be someone else's, uh, not immediately. Uh, it has been interpreted by the attorney general in previous, you know, opinions, what immediately means to them, but it is a matter of interpretation and it's not in statute. And so that is unclear to any of the, of the people who could seek the opinion, whether it's the custodian requester or the subject, uh, unless you know, you don't know uh, what immediately means. And I don't really see that as being beneficial to anybody. I think clarity is probably preferable to unclarity in law, especially when we're talking about rights under the FOIA, which are so important. So Representative, uh, I'm sorry, now Senator, Senator Payton and I uh, it, it came up with essentially just a clarification of immediately. The the intent is not really to change immediately, but to just say, what do we mean when we say immediately? Uh, and so what we came up with was before the close of the office of the attorney general, the next business day. Um, and that was what the attorney general, Griffin, thought, you know, he thought that would be appropriate in his interpretation of immediately. So we wanted to kind of defer to him. That was, you know, Senator Payton's conversation with him. That's what we came up with. I think it, it is essentially the same thing. It's not really intended to be a, a change per se, although it just it, it just puts a finite time in which you have to have that request into the AG's office. And I, I, I think the, the goal really, the, the principal goal is clarity so everyone knows their rights. All right. Um... Any um, questions by task force members? Any thoughts, comments? I appreciate the, the clarity. Um, don't know that, and I deal with this a lot when we get requests for personnel records. I don't know that it's, it's usually the biggest issue is just trying to get, uh, especially if it's a former employee, it's trying to get a current um, email address or home phone or, or home address. Uh, but more often than not, that, that works out pretty well. And it's just a mat. And then it's a matter of just trying to get the individual to check their email, um, see the email and to respond to. But it usually works out. But I appreciate the clarity. I don't see a, a downside uh, to it. I agree. I agree with uh, Jeff. Uh, I, I appreciate the clarity as well. Anytime we can we can make it clear to uh, avoid unnecessary fights, I think it's it's a good thing. So I, I appreciate the bill. Thank you. Any other uh, thoughts, comments from uh, task force members? Um, yeah, open it up for uh, comments from interested parties who are listening, watching. Uh, we would ask that um, if you want to make a comment, please put your name and the organization that you represent in chat so we can um, see who you are and where you're from. But anybody in the audience like to uh, comment? Ashley uh, Wimberly, go ahead. Or are you just commenting that you... she's just commenting? Okay, okay, yeah. I know it was um, it was discussed by the um, uh, FY Coalition, and it was uh, supported at their last meeting. So um, it, it has been reviewed by them. I'd move to endorse the um, to endorse House Bill ten ninety nine. Okay, we have a, a motion to endorse House Bill 1099. A second? I second it. All right. All uh, in favor of uh, House Bill 1099, say aye. 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 Any opposed? 
Oh, the eyes have it. All right, Representative Collins, that was uh, pretty quick, pretty easy. Thank you. Well, I appreciate Thank it. Very much. Joe. Um, you need me to step off here? You're welcome to stay if you'd like, or, or I don't know what your schedule is, but I just want to say thank you for being here. Okay. Thanks, well, Representative Collins. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Um, any other uh, public comments um, as we move to kind of wrap up? We today? haven't seen any other. We've been monitoring legislation. I haven't seen anything else. Uh, right. Kind of slow start. Yeah, we are, are checking daily and haven't seen much. Well, at least so let's start on things that pertain to us. Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 Cool. We did. <laughs> Hard, hardly a slow start. Well, well, well yeah. said, Neil. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, as we, there have, were a couple of bills. Remember last time we met, we talked about bills that um, uh, basically they're they, they, – discussed the FOI, but they also are covered by HIPAA. There were a couple bills that were filed like that, which um, uh, we had decided not to run because it's already covered by by HIPAA. So, um, uh, and as a, uh, like uh, this time, uh, keep uh, we'll keep monitoring the bills, and if anything comes up, we'll um, we'll call a meeting. But I, I still like the Fridays at eleven, so um, uh, we'll just keep that in our back pocket until we uh, meet again. I will um, I will be out of town next Friday. Uh, well, I'll be traveling. So um, I can, if we have something to review, I can still set up the meeting and authorize someone else to host. Um, but I will, uh, I'll have to be out. So okay, we just kind of, I'm stay in touch with Rob on it. All right. If there's nothing else, um, thank you so much, um, and we'll see you um, next week or the week after. Okay. Thanks, Rob. You bet. Good seeing thank everybody. You. Thanks, Rob. Thank, thank you, Jeff. Have a good thank weekend. You. Bye, y'all.